<laughs> Welcome back to Stuck in a Side Quest podcast. We have Tyler, Trevor, Scott, Katie, and myself, Haley. Um, today we're going to be talking about Stranger Things Season 2, which is my favorite because Bob. <laughs> Anyways, what's everybody's thoughts on Stranger Things Season 2? I thought it was the worst season. Uh, God damn. Golly, I, I will say, just when I first started watching Stranger Things, I made it one episode into Season 2, and that's when I stopped watching it until we watched it together. You just weren't interested? That's the last full season I watched. I liked. I it. was like, I couldn't. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know the um eleven story with eight. I guess. Yeah, um, that was not the best. Yeah, I thought like that was like, oh, this is gonna be dope because there's somebody else who has powers and stuff like that. Yeah, it was just like whoop. And <laughs> yeah, at this yeah, point, from what I can remember, it was not that great. And I was like, man, this kind of sucks. She needs to go back. <laughs> yeah, there were. Go back. This is kind of weird. Go back. A few of their side plots were not great. Like the Nancy and Jonathan one was kind of mid. Like it was yeah, just Yeah, that like, wasn't that great. I mean, whole, it was okay. It the whole wasn't, side plot with, yeah. even when I watched it again, the whole side plot with her going to see her mom and stuff, it was just like, oh, brother. It was kind of weak. It was all yeah. kind of yeah. weak. But it was building up. For season three, for sure. That's kind of the way. I, it was just a filler season. Like, they had yeah. to get so much stuff out to get to the next thing that it just wasn't that interesting. But we did get to meet Max and Billy for the first time yeah. in this season. And so we get s- some in- interesting stuff with that. And then we also get the little polywog that becomes the the demidog. Dart. <laughs> yeah, dart. The demidogs is like a step down of a monster, though. Because you got like the demi gorgon, this like bipedal thing that runs around and comes at you, and then you go to dogs, and it's like. Well, the dogs' heads are like the demi gorgon. Yeah, That's I know why they that. Call them but don't they I know. I'm just saying, but it's just they make them smaller, and it's like yeah. you just made it like a it's like a grunt now, like a grunt from Halo or something like yeah. that. Like it's just yeah. one of those. Well, it felt like they just had to give the upside down. Show you that there are multiple things down there. Yeah, that's right. True. I mean, they There's saw the it's not big just ass one. monster. That was cool, though. The mind well, flare. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever it's up in the sky or whatever, which I don't know what happens with season three and four. I still gotta watch it. But <laughs> oh boy, it gets it gets way more interesting. But we also get to meet Bob in this season, which is good for Joyce because poor Joyce has been through it in the first oh, season. Oh, brother. <laughs> they need to be dicked down with some good old Bob. Yeah, with some good Jeez. old Bob. And Bob is a sweet man and Bobby he takes boy. things slow and he watches movies with her. And, and he's hung like a horse. Yes, and he loves Simp. He loves her children just as much as anybody. And so he's just such a sweet man. He loves and them just as much as he loved Frodo Baggins. <laughs> He was really smart, too, and he was nerdy as well. So he got along with Will and was really able to, like, be like, it's okay to not be the cool kid, basically. You don't have to be. (laughs) Yet did he know that Will had some other stuff going on. Yeah, Yeah, a lot. Will Will was a little weird. (laughs) He did not know what he was signed up for. Yeah, Bob was like, I did not sign up for this. It does hurt you a little because you so want Joyce and... um, um, Hopper to get together, yeah. but Bob, Bob is a good like. <laughs> Bob is a rebound. Bob he, is who she yeah. should he's end a up good with. Guy, yeah, yeah, you know. He doesn't I mean. mean any harm for sure. Well, yeah, no, but that's exactly why it's probably not, it ain't gonna work out. You got Hopper, the little badass dude over there. Who that's used all to right. be the town drunk, but you know whatever. Yeah, see some nice. scars. Sure. And, Look. I got to say this. Uh-oh. I <laughs> no, it's just. Here we go. We've been watching The Last of Us, and they've been comparing it to Stranger Things because of Joel and Ellie and Hopper and Elle. And they have to give grown men who take in young girls that my daughter died storylines yeah. so they don't look creepy. So it doesn't look True. weird. Yeah. Yeah. Because if it was a dude that didn't, he just took They'd be like, what is your interest like, in this girl? Fucking <laughs> rapist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyway, season one ends with Eleven just disappearing, and they thought that she had died or gone away, but turns out she came out of the upside-down Ussie. 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 (laughs) (laughs) 
really and she does. escaped to the woods, and that's where she found Hopper, and Hopper was feeding her Eggos from a box, <laughs> and then eventually they got now together. That say, now that you say it, <laughs> if somebody would have went out there with that man, with that girl in the woods, they would have been like, something's going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Going on. yeah, yeah. They've yeah. already given you the sad story about his daughter dying, yeah, so it's like, like okay, oh, okay. he's a dad. He's oh, just trying to take daughter care of died. her. It's okay. He's just a sad man who yeah. needs a daughter again. Out in his cabin in the woods. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and so very it's secluded. Yes, telling her she can't leave, putting yeah. booby traps outside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so creepy. Yeah. Don't let you bring it up. <laughs> it's a very dirty house because it was one of its like grandfather's house or whatever, so they have to clean it up. And it's way out of the way, and she is basically locked down in it, and he's learning how to be a dad again. <laughs> Which is, I mean, I, I think it's a sweet plot line, but it is creepy for sure. There's a new girl at school. Her name's Max, and she is a cool skater girl. And, of course, the boys all have a crush on her. She <laughs> um, was a skater girl. Yes. And it's Halloween. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, and we, f- we learn about Billy. Billy. Is a butthole. Yeah. Billy Badass. Walmart version of Zac Efron. But oh, he no. is cute. Oh, he looks better than he's Zac like, Efron. He's like the Gucci version of Zac Efron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with his because he's Australian. <laughs> <laughs> really Why do you know more about Billy than we do? I know. Yeah. <laughs> You're <laughs> the one with the real Tell crush on him. him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Googling how to be like Billy. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to be like Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Living like Larry. Living like Billy. Yeah. Both lifeguards. <laughs> Are you uh, comparing SpongeBob to Stranger Things right now? Yeah, Larry is Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Larry the Lobster? <laughs> yep. Who's Same SpongeBob energy. then? Will. <laughs> okay. The weirdo. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Squidward is Hopper, but. Uh, <laughs> what? Keep going. Okay. Um, Will is having another panic attack and can see the mind flayer again. And it's not good. And the boys realize there's something wrong. Um, Dustin finds the little snotty looking <laughs> polywog thing. <laughs> And he puts it in his little lizard cage. Looks like a big juicy worm. <laughs> <laughs> was it a lizard cage or a no, turtle it, cage? I think it was a guinea pig cage. No, there was a heat because lamp he on ends it. up. It ends up eating it. Remember? And it, the no, it eats the cat. Oh, it eats eating the cat in that yeah. scene. Yeah, and his mom is a cat. What did you leopard? think that was? It, you thought I that was a hamster? I thought it was a hamster or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's a turtle. A I thought grip. he had a turtle in there. <laughs> Maybe he a takes the. It's just like a tortoise or something. He takes it's it out. It's in a terrarium for sure. Yeah, and oh. it has like the heat lamp. So right, you ain't putting a heat lamp on a hamster, Scott. It might. It might be cold. That's probably why your hamster died. I never yeah. had one. <laughs> it's a joke. What? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get one now. <laughs> with, with a heat, heat lamp. With a heat lamp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up in the morning. <laughs> you got a snack. <laughs> You're disgusting. I feed it to one of the cats. Yeah. I'm sure they don't like it. <laughs> anyways, go on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, Dustin finds the little snot thing. They go back to school. He brings it to school with him, of course, because that's what children do. And um, they kind of have figured out that it's probably not good. Right? I mean, they were yeah, not... like, I think I remember them, like, arguing about it because Dustin's like, this is a little baby, and everybody's like, nah, that's something weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's Isn't acting it like it's from the upside down. Like. Isn't that what uh, Will coughs up in the end of the first season? No, goes, no, 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 it's no. not, because it's been a year. Never mind. I mean, he coughs, he coughs up something from the yeah, upside down. Like a slug. But yeah. It's like yeah. a slug, yeah. That's how we already knew that this boy was going to be messed up in the second season because that I mean, hell, up a slug. I have to give that him as an actor, like acting out those scenes where you have to act all jacked up like that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, especially being really that good, young of a yeah. kid, he does do a good job. Like being that, because every time I see that, it makes me so uncomfortable. I'm like, God, oh yeah, he's please. pretty messed up, dude. Especially when he passes out on the, he's on the 
filled. Filled, yeah. And he's yeah. sitting there like, oh, and his mouth is open and everything. I'm like, good lord. <laughs> yeah. Like, whew. We're like, kid, you're, you're freaking on that me one. out. Yeah. <laughs> but I love it. Yeah. Hit him. <laughs> the, the director's like, <laughs> the cameraman looks over. Keep going. <laughs> this is gold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Cut. Good scene. Therapy is being offered in another room. You need help. <laughs> <sighs> well, you've got Steve and Nancy. Yes. Going off on their own little story. Line. Or John. Yeah, John, John and Nancy. Nancy have decided. I said, Nancy. yeah, I said Steve and Nancy because they should have stayed together. They but should've. that's beside the point. He was taking nude pictures of her. <laughs> right. Creepy. Anyways. Because <laughs> he loved her. We're still hung up on that's this. how he got the girl. <laughs> Look at these photos I took of you. Of your back. Please love me. <laughs> so I'm just creepy. kidding. It is pretty creepy. There's is that Steve working at the space. ice cream place? That's, That's season three. three. Oh, God. I can't get all that shit together, man. Because <laughs> Steve becomes cool and everybody loves Steve and I like Steve. He yeah. becomes cool in this season. And yeah, no, That's what I'm saying. That's when he becomes the babysitter. Yeah. They always leave him with the kids. The town conspiracist who is... Basically, he knows there's something going on, and he knows that um, there's something creepy happening with the lab. That's where... Um, what is Na- his name? Barney? Marty? No. Murphy. 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 Yes. Yeah. That's where Nancy and Jonathan end up going and, and, like, sleeping in separate rooms, and then him saying, y'all need to be sleeping together. It, it was That's creepy, no, too. he was like, like look, I can... F- the sexual tension in this room <laughs> is humongous. He's talking to ch- kids. I mean, yeah. like they're in high school. Like and they were like, "Ew, gross!" And no. And then in the middle of the night, Jonathan. like <laughs> they're sitting there looking, and Jonathan's like, "You know what? I'm gonna be a man." He gets up and opens his door, and she's right there. And it's just like gross. Yeah. Wow! 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 Eleven eventually gets fed up with being. <laughs> <laughs> you are like Papa. Yeah, she gets fed up with being at, with Hopper, and she decides that she's gonna go find her mom. And um, she goes to find her mom, and they realize that her mom is in a state where she can't. But she communicates with her mom by putting on the blindfold, and sees that her mom had given birth to her, and then her baby was taken away from her. Eleven was taken away from her. And that's when Dr. Brenner started working on her in the lab. And um, we also find out about Eight, that her and Eight were friends, apparently. And so now her mission is to go find Eight. And Eight has powers that's pretty cool. Like, it makes you see things that aren't there. That is actually really dope. Yeah, that's cool. So, like, a bridge is crashing, so you think that you can't drive that way. But really... It hasn't. Yeah. You're just seeing illusions. It. You can make illusions. Yes. It's very What D&D-esque. if that cop was like, "Fuck it." Yeah, he was just <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> like his wife. He was just he he got divorced. He was losing his kids. He's like, you know what? <laughs> uh, this is just the Lord, and he just accepts it and just drives straight through. And it's like, it is cop, but he's next to him like. <laughs> <laughs> but then <laughs> they make it through. Yeah, they make it through. They're like. <laughs> <laughs> Driving's like They probably crash after Slams it into <laughs> the yeah. wall yeah. Yeah. Anyways They're a bunch of weirdos She's hanging yeah, out she, with they're she, basically murderers Yes yeah. They're misfits They But they are <laughs> Murderers for A good reason though Like the, They do stuff to people Who are bad It's like That Robin Hood-esque moment And um, This is really When Eleven finds herself When she becomes that 80s girl she slicks back her hair she puts on black eyeliner she's really going through her emo phase but it's where she figures out that she can be a normal kid and she use her have to powers go that hardcore. yeah well that's true <laughs> yeah she's like yeah. <laughs> i'll be wild <laughs> are you being distracting no i'm trying not to make any noise and you just called it out <laughs> We're being filmed now, so... Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't Tyler's matter. Don't mic it in there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. 
<laughs> if y'all want to know what it's like to live with Tyler, this is it. <laughs> but um, I love you. Sorry. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Showing affection is cringy. <laughs> <laughs> it can be. Just like Jonathan does in Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I know he's weird. I know Jonathan's weird. But give our, like, three a props for pulling, like, an eight. That's all Fair I'm saying. Enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Like, if I they mean, wanted that storyline to continue, the they should have picked a better-looking actor. That man, <laughs> that man pulled it out for, for us ugly folk. But didn't he, they they date in real life, right? I think they did. Yeah. yeah. For a minute. But they're, he's not like me. I'm like a negative three that pulled a 12. Oh Talking about God. cringy. <laughs> 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 oh, gross. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor's about to leave. <laughs> we'll go make another drink. <laughs> Will is still at the lab getting tested now. And they're like, he's okay. Meanwhile, he's like convulsing. And <laughs> he's like, not he's okay. fine. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce is over like, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for busting our eardrums, <laughs> but yes. Is that is that when they're burning something yeah. too? Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're burning. Like a piece if you're of burning it. something and it Will's filling it, you're like, this is not good. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should stop. Something no, is, keep going. We have to study it. Yeah. Something is going on. <laughs> this is weird. Putting them in a cold bath, letting them sit in there. But Hopper is getting calls from the townspeople about their pumpkins going bad. <laughs> <laughs> All these crops. <laughs> the crops are not it's doing well. It's they're two dying. farmers feuding that they're poisoning each other's crops. Oh yeah. It's honestly a funny plot line. Yeah. <laughs> One has the biggest pumpkin every year at the pumpkin festival. <laughs> yeah. Another man's trying to sabotage him. Poisoning me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Quit poisoning my pumpkins. <laughs> I know it's you. It, it ain't nobody else around here. <laughs> Hop just wishes that was the problem. Yeah. 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 Honestly. He tracks it back to the lab. Like, I mean, he's literally putting little flags out. Shocker. And it goes straight to the lab. So then he tries to go and investigate the lab, and he gets nothing out of it, really, except for some sketchy stuff that's going on there. And we later on find out that that's where the new portal is. The new upside down ussy. Yes. Let me tell you, this one's it's humongous. Big old ussy. It's, it's yeah. growing. And so now. Drive a bus through that thing. <laughs> 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 All right, kids, we're going on a field trip to the upside down. Magic school bus. <laughs> Another field <laughs> trip? Magic no way. <laughs> Please let this be a normal me, field me. trip. Miss Frizzle. <laughs> with, with Miss Frizzle. <laughs> Driving through there, and there's Demi Dogs slamming off the side of it. All the kids are in the back. <laughs> School bus. The bus turns and gets a chain gun on it. <laughs> <laughs> the, little gin- the little ginger boy gets on top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's probably the one going to get taken out <laughs> and ripped out of it. Oh, my God. You need to be right. A good concept trip. for Magic School Bus. Yeah, but this is great. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to recreate this again. This Miss is adding to our, scri- yeah. our little skits that we're going to yeah. make. Miss <laughs> it'll be Tyler in a scary movie, and at the end, it'll somehow pull in the Magic School Bus <laughs> <laughs> with the machine gun on the top. Tyler's going to play Miss Frizzle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is a Demi Morgan. <laughs> So, anyways, um, Will gets sucked by the mind flare. <laughs> sucked by the <laughs> yeah. He it, is looking a little rough. <laughs> yes, but it does like he tries to communicate it with it, and then it just like I don't know. It's like a demon, and he sucks it in. And um, <laughs> haven't we all? <laughs> <laughs> you, you've been sucking in some demons. <laughs> anyways. So, that's not good for Will. It makes things even worse. (laughs) If he didn't already have enough problems. (laughs) And now he's seeing visions in his mind about the underground pathways that's happening. And so Bob, our boy Bob, figures it out. 
he can tell that all these drawings that would is have been drawing. Well, he's had experience. I mean, he was in the Goonies. That oh is God. true. And he made it all the way to Mordor. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Mount Doom. Yeah. And he was the brother on Fifty First Date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's been all the way to Hawaii. His best role, honestly. <laughs> oh my goodness. He figures out that it's a map of the town. And so they figure out where the mind flare um doesn't want them to go, but but it's really where they want them to go, and then all those scientists get killed. And that's when Steve gets involved with the boys and they go down into the hole and they're fighting off all the demodogs. Demodogs, every time you say that, it Doug Dibbidome? Yes. <laughs> Doug <laughs> Dibbidome. Like Doug Dibbidome is going to pop out of that, I'm Doug Dibbidome. That upside oh, down Doug Doug Dibbidome. <laughs> His hat's going to come out first, and he's like, it's Doug Dibbidome. <laughs> 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 that would be wild. That's, a, that's the last boss. That's a good D&D character. Yeah. Do that? <laughs> Doug Dibbidome coming out of the boss? upside down? <laughs> yeah. Have it like the it's most BBG. serious D&D campaign. And it's like it's to the Doug end, Dibbidome. we have like billions of people watching. <laughs> and out comes the final boss. <laughs> Doug Dimmadone of the Dimsdale Dimmadome. I'm Doug Dimmadome. <laughs> oh, there's a Dimsdale Dimmadome. <laughs> <laughs> Hopper is led into the lab because then they show them the big giant upside down. <laughs> and so... This is when Eleven pops in at the right time, and she's like, I'm going to save the day. And she goes in there with Hopper, and they're trying to close it while the boys are trying to distract the dogs away from it. It ends up all working out. She closes that thing up tight. (laughs) (laughs) The mind flutter is about to get (laughs) Zips it up, and then we're all good until season three. As of season two, who are our favorite characters? Have they stayed the same? Definitely Steve. Isn't it this the where you get the Steve and Dustin dynamic like legit? Because they no, don't that's think the next one. Or is that season next three. God, season three? Wait. I thought it was this one too. They're not in the bus or anything. Is that three? No. They start it, developing their thing when he's working at uh, Scoops Ahoy. Yeah, but I doesn't they, Steve give him the advice about his hair? Well, I thought they had two? a thing before that because they saw each other at Scoops Ahoy and they're like, "Oh, what's up?" But maybe not. I'm just misremembering yeah i think he had given because they had the snowball dance at the end of that one and they had taught or maybe that was season one steve had taught dustin at some point what to use in his hair for his hair products because it was so much this season really got heavy on like trying to introduce max and then you don't really see a whole lot of billy you just know he's the jackass brother this is the season where you find out billy's a racist right off the rip isn't oh it? for sure yeah because they don't like that Lucas is around. Yeah, and I keep wanting to call her by her real name. Um, Max, she's trying to like get in with them as friends, but they're keeping the demi dog thing from her. Yeah, because she doesn't know what happened last year, and she keeps trying to get into it so bad. And Lucas is like, "Back off!" Is that no, season two or season it's three? Season two when um. It's in season two when Steve and Dustin start to start that like yeah, friendship. That's what I thought. And then uh, they have the big re- reunite together after he gets back from camp in season three. Dustin yeah. does. Because that's how I love their dynamic; those two together. I was like, Oh What's yeah, up? they're they're pretty great. Probably two. That they dynamic probably are two makes of my Dustin like a more likable character because. Outside of that, you don't see much of him. And what you do see of him, sometimes it's just kind of annoying. This is just that, like... Know-it-all. That fat friend. That's what I feel like. <laughs> Dang. I, I mean, you ain't I gonna like say Justin. like that. Yeah, every, like every, every, every group has the fat kid. Or the fat man. The fat one. He's, he's just not there to be funny. Fat. He's just the goofy one. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's chubby, the, though. Yeah, I mean, he's like... He's like, um... In the Goonies. Yeah, the, the Truffle Shuffle kid. Chunk? Chunk, yeah. He's like Chunk. I mean, that's what it's kind of hey, like hand in hand. Go. That's two Goonie references to this season. I mean, if the, it is like, they are the Goonies, though. I yeah, mean, like they, they got 
it's, it's got the that, same thing. It's, got it's that same vibe, vibe that yeah. people like, obviously, because everybody loves the Goonies. So you're gonna love Stranger Things because of how they, how the kids go and do the impossible and stuff. I feel mm. like Mike's kind of quiet in this season. Yeah, because he they don't see quiet. each other, and he's still kind of heartbroken over her being gone. Yeah, because they don't find out that she's alive until she comes back, right, from eight. In fact, aren't does she see Max and Mike and Jim in this one? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Where Max yeah. is like playing with the skateboard. Yeah, Max yeah. and, and Mike so she gets kind of jealous. Yeah. She's like, he's already moved on. Which is not the case because he spends half the season worrying and fretting over her. And I'm pretty <laughs> sure he asks, he keeps asking Hopper, have you heard anything? Have you seen her? Do you know anything? And Hopper's lying because he's creepy and he's Keep keeping her shit, in his yeah. cabin dungeon. <laughs> Cabin dungeon. I'm just kidding. I really do like that storyline. It's just if you think about it yeah, from outside I mean, if the you show, th- it's kind of like, ooh. If you think about it real hard, you're like, good God, that would not fly. Like, if I heard about that <laughs> in some 80s. backwoods, I'd be like, bruh. It don't matter if it's the 80s. <laughs> we know it's, how it's I feel the about 80s. It. <laughs> still you don't couldn't get that away with problem. anything <laughs> back then. <laughs> you could just have girls in your cabin in the woods. <laughs> It's fine. It was normal. Right. Ted's still a great dad. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop. We do not stand Ted. We do know his like political Dad. standing in this one, though, because they have that big Reagan Bush sign yes. in front of the yard. Everybody did. I don't think you see much of Ted in this season. No, because he's being a lazy father. That's why it builds up season three. Billy is the hot pool guy. Yeah. Not the All mom. the moms are trying to get with Billy. All right, yeah. I mean, I don't think they're trying it. to physically get with him. They just like to no, look at him. If they get a chance, they probably would. I mean, they all be dressed well, that's, up. That's, that's the 80s. equally as creepy. <laughs> Tyler. Yeah, Tyler. More, more socially accepted. Yeah. It shouldn't be, though. It's the 80s. <laughs> yeah, it's the 80s. <laughs> we cannot use that excuse for poor behavior. <laughs> Dutton, Lucas, and does their relationship, Lucas and Max's relationship, like, yeah, because Dustin and Lucas are kind of fighting over her for most of it. But then it, I mean, really, like. But this is where they're at the arcade, right? Yeah. And she keeps lying to Billy about not talking to Lucas. Right. Yeah. Well, then she end up getting, like, the high score on the game. And yeah, they're all like, they're who, trying to who's out? Max? Who's and it's Max. the girls. Right. Yeah. They thought it, and then, yeah. And we do all dress up as the Ghostbusters at Halloween. Yeah, and nobody cool. else dresses up. At school. Oh, yeah, that's pretty lame. (laughs) Sounds like something that happened to me, honestly. I hated when we couldn't dress up at school anymore. I love doing that, but I am a weirdo. When were y'all not able to? After fifth grade. No, I dressed up in fifth grade. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't get the memo. Everybody else was dressed up in fifth grade. Yeah, a lot of people dressed up after that. You had the parade. You had dressed up. You walked around. Yes, after fifth grade. Once you got into middle school, they wouldn't let you do it anymore. Well, yeah. Because you were a middle school kid. That's their middle school Everybody kid. Everybody be dressing up as, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that. Soft play Do kid. they start middle school in? Yeah, because they, they start high school. That's why they join the D&D club in the fourth uh, um, You're right. Cause, season. Yeah. Because they're fresh meat. Yeah. And Eddie's a senior again. Because it's the 80s. <laughs> yeah, it's the yeah 80s. you could be 30 in high school. <laughs> I mean, it's really cool that they brought up the Mind Flayer because Mind Flayers are dope in D&D. Because they're, what, like, can you give some more background on what a Mind Flayer They're does? pretty much like a squid person, and they're all, uh, it's a hive mind. So they all have, like, this thing called the Elder Brain. And I think, like, the Mind Flayer was one of the big things in the first D&D. But they, they... Suck onto your head, and they suck out your brains, hmm. and they can like one shot <laughs> party party people, <laughs> like your characters and stuff. You get one shot by a mind flare. It's pretty pretty great, and like, which this goes on to the later episodes. But Critical Role, which we brought up last time, like you know, Critical Role and Stranger Things kind of like made D and D blow up. Well, Critical Role, their first campaign, uses a lot of stuff, or they both, because I think Critical Role was a little before, but Critical Role uses mind flares when they first started off too, 
Like, that was, like, one of their big little side things. And then Vecna is their BBEG, or the big bad guy or whatever. So, like, it all plays together. It's weird how they, like, they both use the same characters because Vecna is, like, really big in the critical role. Like, that's their big guy that they face at the end, like, the god. Well, they then, they could have been feeding off of each other, but they could have also been just pulling from, like, OG D&D material yeah, trying to stay that way. Vecna's a pretty old, like, he's pretty in the beginning. Like, he's one of the big, old big school. bad guys, yeah, that you would use because he's, like, the perfect... Because he's like in the secrets, and you have to you have to go around and do like detective work to find out who he is, and it's very hard to find out who he is because he always keeps all the secrets and stuff. And he's like he was a lich, and he went to a god. There he has a whole he has actually a pretty good story. We could do a whole episode over Vecna. He he's wild. Got his hands cut off, his eyeball, all that stuff. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. That's for another episode. <laughs> well, he did it on purpose to himself. No. I think. I don't remember. Do you know who Cthulhu is? Isn't that like a god? Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a, it's a whole other thing. It's like uh, like your mind can't comprehend fourth dimension type stuff. Uh, well, and Cthulhu kind of looks like a mind flayer. I mean, yeah, yeah the, the head. Which yeah. which Which came first? Cthulhu the chicken the head? Cthulhu, Cthulhu definitely came Well, and then, I mean, D&D pulls from so many things. It probably pulled that from a lot. Lovecraft. D&D, yeah, D&D pulls a lot from Lovecraft. Like, the whole Far Realm, which is, like, way out there, like, the, like I just said, that's all, like, Lovecraft stuff pretty much, like the ancient ones. Because, like, you can use Cthulhu. There's other stuff that I don't even... It's, like, deep, deep in the lore. So... Oh, Nancy and Jonathan, also a big part in the season, are trying to explain to Barb's parents. Yeah, you're right, oh, because yeah. she feels so much guilt. She, she's the reason why Barb died. Nah, she's say. trying to tell her without telling yeah, her, right. or is just going to tell her. <laughs> it was irrelevant. She's it's dead. Just the 80s. That's why I forgot Drop about it. it. <laughs> no, but I know it's like kind of intense, because don't she like call them and stuff? Or she like, wants they go to, to dinner over there, and yeah. stuff like that? Like they have regular dinners over there. Well, that's because the parents still think they're that she's just missing. Yeah. When they oh, know that yeah, she's, she's dead. dead. Yeah, but they so, tell yeah. her that they're gonna move, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, and it kind of she's kind of like they need to know, so that they can fully move on, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that kind of shitty if your kid's missing, you just move? Well, if it's been, I like guess not. But I don't know. That seems kind of weird. I mean, if my kid was only missing for like a year, and you're like, yeah, if it had been move. like ten years, it'd probably be like, well, <laughs> she grown. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Right. If she's alive, <laughs> yeah, she could find us. <laughs> it's probably what they thought of a year later. She'll find us if she's alive. Yeah. I mean, yeah, she was sixteen. I was gonna say, yeah, she was old oh, enough. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I don't know. She's that's seventeen still now. She can, <laughs> a year, a she can handle a herself. year. You're like, well, <laughs> let's all let's move. Let's get on Sounds out of like here. Something Tyler would do. Which, yeah. oh, well. If I lived in a place like Hawkinsville with all that weird shit Hawkins. going on. Hawkins. Hawkins, what did I say? Hawkinsville again. What did I say? Hawkinsville. It's Hawkins. Oh, it's just Hawkins, my bad. Why do I keep saying that? Because <laughs> there's Hawkinsville, Georgia. Georgia. We've been through this. Oh, we were? Oh. Hawkins. <laughs> if I lived in a place like that, regardless, I would probably want to move too because I'd be like, this place is fucking weird, bro. <laughs> I can't handle this. Yeah, no one questions the creepy lab. Because you know people lab. see that stuff going on. Like, you... You, you saw the dog run past. It's like that was not a dog. Yeah, <laughs> that, that thing was slimy. That thing is running through the school. It's all sl- kinds yeah. of shit. There's skin crawlers and or what? Are, what do they call them? Skin, skin walkers. walkers. There's skin walkers and Hawkins. That's probably what they call them. Uh, that and the way them crops look, then people can't be like, this cannot be no regular rot. <laughs> yeah. This is like, this these things are blue rot. and black <laughs> yeah. and gross. I'm uh, telling you, it's Bob over there. He yeah, I, like he Bob always boy. is trying to. <laughs> That's such a weird frame of mind, though. Like, if I went outside and my garden was just, like, dead and messed up, I wouldn't just be like, well, call 911. Yep. We got us an emergency. Yeah. Mine would be dead because I'm terrible at keeping plants alive. But if it's like that, though, I was going like, to say, I'd yeah. call the law if it looked like that. <laughs> I'd be, well, even if 
that's your like sheriff. If I'm that's like, your Lance profession, have done it again. And that's, that's like your that's your profession, and that's your like livelihood. that's how you make your livelihood. And you just walk outside the day before you had a luscious pumpkin patch, <laughs> and then like the day <laughs> there's just a, <laughs> a black hole and it's just spreading luscious pumpkin patch, <laughs> and it's like it was Bob. It's because I won the biggest pumpkin contest last year. And he's mad about it, so he's saboteuring my farm. <laughs> saboteuring. Oh With the frizz, no way. <laughs> <laughs> meep, meep. <laughs> I would want to know what chemicals he got to kill it overnight like that. Yeah. Like, uh, what the yeah. fuck is this man got? That's all he needed to do is introduce drugs and Hawkins. <laughs> yeah. That's terrible. You probably have to be on drugs to live there. All the shit you have to deal with. Yeah. Everybody's like, look, babe. <laughs> Kids are only thing. Kids are disappearing. The houses are great prices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is this is a uh, five bedroom, four bath for twenty bucks. <laughs> this goes back around to you being <laughs> scared of a, of the of the little girls popping up. <laughs> yeah. Babe, this house was kids for a are great going class. missing in that town. I don't want to live there. It's twenty dollars. <laughs> Who cares? And then we'll the house We got it first. Steal. <laughs> yeah. They paid us to live there. I will say that, you know, first season, Joyce got on my nerves. But if it wasn't for Bob, she probably would have been a lot worse. And yeah. So even though I didn't really care about Bob, he did keep the crazy down. And I'll stand him for that. I thought Bob was a weirdo the whole time. Not going to lie. I was like, this man, this man's got something up his sleeve. He's a weirdo. It's not going to happen. And then he just died. And I was like, well. I just thought he was too nice. Yeah. Th- like, I was yeah. like, he's too perfect. There's something There's something up he here. He was trying to connect with Will a little too strongly. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that kid was acting like that, you're trying to like. <laughs> he was just trying to be a good yeah. Don't ask me. Daddy. <laughs> yeah, no, well, we saw what is wrong with that? He got him a hot Boy. mom and he's like, I got to try. I got to do my best. <laughs> Hey, Will, what's up, bro? <laughs> yeah. Going back to that three and that eight. Yeah. <laughs> it's not hot as hell, but it's some weirdo, man. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> so he co- compliment, <laughs> contemplated <laughs> the whole like, time. What's up? He's. She's like, just try. He's a good boy. Just try to connect with I just him. Don't know. He walks up to him. What's up, Will? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, <he's> like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> what the heck, man? All right, I'm gonna turn on a movie and get some popcorn. <laughs> yeah. The skeleton fell over. <laughs> that was Bob. Yeah. No. Uh, Dead. He fell out. <laughs> that was just really funny. Nope. I saw the nope. I can't over. do it anymore. Joyce, your kid is weird. Get he's him some weirdo. Help. Yeah. Get him some help. That's how that really would have went. No, but he saw how their real dad was in season one. Like, we saw how much of a shitbag he was, so. Did we? Yeah. yeah. I, I yeah. forgot about him. Yeah. He just shows up, and he's like, I'm taking my kid. <laughs> <laughs> and he was real harsh about the fact that Will was missing. Yeah. Feeding in, calling Joyce crazy, wanting Jonathan to come live with him, and going back and forth. Oh, yeah. And Makes sense. But he had been dipped out for how long? That's usually Forever. how dipped out dads do. They come back and they're like, oh, I know exactly what I need to be doing here. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe you let our boy go missing. <laughs> While to I was it. missing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if I would have been here, this wouldn't have happened. If he would have been with me, it wouldn't have happened. <laughs> That's really how they are, yeah. though, in real life. They're wilding, dude. Thank Damn you. Y'all know who you are. I've been providing for this family. I haven't got a child support check in four years. <laughs> I lost my license. Yeah. So what? I thought you moved. Look, I've been going through some really hard times. I'm two weeks sober and I'm on a good path. <laughs> I'm here Give for at least four back. weeks. Yeah. Give me my boy back. Yeah. Oh my Where's God. my boy? Does he ever pop back up? No, no, no. Back in? no he just no, pops he up. Gone. He looked gone. Yeah, I mean, he probably looked at it and was like, whew. Yeah. He <laughs> saw Will, that face. Yeah. It was like, oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, I know why. You know what? I don't think I'm the real daddy. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't my kid. Joyce, no. this is your fault. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, uh, he don't really look like me. 
as he's shaking and screaming. He's lighting up his cigarette, and all of a sudden, Will is like, <laughs> "Yeah, he fiends from the fire." Oh no, I can't do this. <laughs> he's sitting there, looks over, and Will's just like, Bong! coughs up another black slug. <laughs> oh my god. All right, thank you for watching Stuck in a Side Quest podcast. Please subscribe, leave a comment, um, keep watching us, and let us know how you feel. <laughs> um, thank you for listening. <laughs> <laughs>